Most of you have asked me about the uh, VMware, that uh, whether we should go for VMware or we must go for the Proxmox. As uh, I have been using VMware for more than 15 years now, and Proxmox I started using in 2011, when I think its 2.4 version was released. And since then I'm using both of the systems. Uh, Proxmox was my favorite choice when it comes to using the virtualization environment at my home lab and even for the small businesses but the way proxmox has improved for many years in fact since uh, uh, 2011 i have seen uh, great improvements in the operating system in complete in, uh, system in fact the proxmox virtual environment and then the proxmox backup server and when when i have seen the uh, backup and restore of the virtual machines and restoring it any point of time and even uh, live migration and all of that this is really seamless on the other hand uh, vmware was always a challenge for me the reason was that there were some errors which we as it administrators or the vmware administrators could not uh, manage to uh, sort and that's where we wanted to have or we had to have the dedicated support by the vmware and if the VMware support is not available, definitely it becomes a very big challenge. And that's where the problem comes uh, since 2021 when uh, VMware is acquired by uh, Broadcom. Of course, uh, it becomes a challenge now because VMware have sacked many employees. So many uh, tech support guys or the experts who were really uh, using or developing the VMware technology are no more with VMware and that is where the problem comes that who is going to give the support when it comes to VMware now those companies who are already using VMware for many years their complete infrastructure whether the infrastructure is on cloud or whether it is on premises their virtualization environment has been VMware for a long time and we have already seen the glitches and uh, the licensing is also going to change of course licensing has changed now from the perpetual license to uh, again cloud-based or monthly subscription or annual subscription this is also going to be a big challenge uh, that's the reason uh, whoever whoever has asked me that what do i recommend for the enterprise and for even the large companies to go for i will still insist and still recommend to go for Proxmox virtual environment. The reason is it's stable. Uh, with my experience of uh, 10 years of running these both systems parallel, uh, VMware and Proxmox, and even Hyper-V also, I have been using for many applications, but stability-wise, when it comes to restoring the machines, when there is any technical disaster, it becomes quite easy when you are using Proxmox virtual environment. Uh, Proxmox virtual environment has its own dedicated uh, Proxmox backup server, where you can backup and restore the virtual machines at any point of time. At the same time, if you are using clustered environment and when you have enabled the high availability, then also I must say that you are safe. So that's where I recommend Proxmox. And those who are saying that they have gone for uh, some of the questions that the people have asked uh, one was that they are using casa os on zima board or zima blade so should they install proxmox on some external drive or usb flash or how they should continue with proxmox should they uh, use the casa os also in parallel i must recommend if it all depends on your choice of course it all depends what you are using this for if it is just basic file storage and simple containers then casa os will be fine but if you want to have a full control where you want to create the uh, virtual environment or virtu virtual machines whether it is server or even the linux or uh, normal uh, windows machines or windows servers so you can go for uh, proxmox because you have flexibility of making the uh, virtual machines and lxc containers and then even docker engine can also be installed in one of the lxc containers or virtual machine and then you can have the flexibility of the 
server virtualization and application virtualization from all the traditional virtualization or server virtualization to the modern uh, Linux or uh, con Linux containers or even the Docker containers. And at the same time, it gives you flex flexibility. There are multiple options available. So my recommendation is always Proxmox because it is open source. You don't need to pay anything and you will be getting rid of all those commercial licenses. So hope you like this video. See you next video. Take care and goodbye.